After day one of NBA 2K24, we already have a patch. Honestly, I don't think that's a great sign. But as I've played for a very long time, I've noticed a few things about the game that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. We did have a hot fix the day of the game coming out, which has patched a lot of the post hooks and post scores that you guys saw hitting bounce backs, which was an issue in 2K23, which somehow was an issue in the beginning of this year. But now I'm telling you guys, we got bigger problems on our hands. We got guys with like bronze, limitless range, or even silver. If you have silver this is still insane hitting three point shots from the opposite side of the floor the amount of people i've seen already hit 70 plus percent contested shots and even some people are hitting 99 percent smothered shots i don't think the shooting per se is an issue but if you're doing this i mean come on something's wrong now there's some things that are confusing me obviously let's start with this clip notice i am on my Giannis build a 94 driving dunk posterizer on gold i got precision dunker on silver and this is a guard that is cold by the way now you see as we run the clip the guard goes into the paint and is cold and I get the posterizer dunk, which is always nice. But why is my green window this small? It makes no sense. Now I understand it's supposed to be green or you miss it, which I personally do like. But if there's nobody in the paint and I'm trying to use the dunk meter, I'm trying to upgrade precision dunker a little bit. Why am I getting a meter that looks like this? And if you guys haven't tried it out yet, the dunk meter is incredibly quick. So if you have this small of a green window, it's virtually impossible to make. And I've had some people say that maybe it's picking up a contest from the center that's in the paint, like when I'm starting my driving dunk. But even on this clip right here, there's nobody in the paint. I had a green it, but I have slasher takeover and I'm wide open in the paint. There's no reason my green window is like this. Now, I don't want this to come across as me like hating the game or anything like that. I'm actually having a pretty good amount of fun. I'm just kind of pointing out things I know a lot of you guys probably have noticed as well that just don't make sense. Like if you can green half court shots or beyond half court shots and I get weird timings with a 94 driving night, like that in my brain just doesn't make sense. I know you guys probably have other things. So you let me know down below in the comment section what you've noticed so far. I know it's only been a couple days now that when I post this, I'm having 2K24. We're not even a weekend, but just let me know what you guys think. Of course, we've had hot fixes and patches, like I said, so I know there are things that are messed up with the game. But again, you guys can see by these clips, like I'm not struggling per se. I feel like I'm, I'm doing pretty good. These are all clips within maybe two days maximum of me playing the game. You know, pick and pops are there with the Giannis build. If you guys are wondering what this build is, definitely go check it out. This is the exact build, getting put back dunks, dominating inside, just having a lot of fun with a 73 point shot and a 70 ball handle. Being able to combo like this, look at that crossover. Super nasty, but again, you saw right there. Why is that dunk meter? I don't even want to talk about it. Why is the dunk meter that big? But other times it's not. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, this is the things that just don't make sense to me in my head. Look at us getting bulldozer clips. Oh my gosh. Bulldozer's actually been pretty fun to use so far. You can see we're even getting disrespectful. We're getting disrespectful with it. This guy's just sitting in the paint, but look, we're timing that. It's like a small guard. I still don't understand why the dunk meter's not big there. You see, people are too little. We're just able to dominate. We're using new moves like this little push dribble right here. And then we're getting more contact dunks. Again, it's been fun. So if you guys want to see some more gameplay, make sure you stay tuned. I've got some really good gameplays for you guys coming up here soon that you do not want to miss. Now we're going to hop right into some gameplay. I know you guys have been wondering what the Giannis build is really like. And you're going to see it at full throttle right here. This is going to be pretty much peak performance. Now, obviously... I don't shoot the best every single game. There's games where I shoot pretty badly, but I finally recently have found out a new, you know, shooting cue, a new jump shot that I'm using in this video. So if you guys want the new jumper, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. You know, I'll have a full video on how I shoot better, what cues I'm using, the jump shot and all of that, all the secrets to shoot with a 73 point shot. It's actually pretty crazy. So as you can see right here, Anybody that's shorter than six foot ten that you put on this Giannis build, it's really just barbecue chicken. Like the standing dunks for some reason. I don't know if you guys have messed with it and done like standing dunk meter stuff. You can see this nice little crossover right there in the contact dunk meter. But I don't know if you guys have used standing dunks. For some reason, it's like super easy to use. Like the window is always really big. I think it's maybe because people don't get like the best positioning in the paint. I'm not too sure. But I always get contact dunks when I do the standing dunk meter. But again, like I said, with the Giannis build, it becomes really versatile if you know how to do more than just set screens and run to the rim. This is kind of bringing me, you know, flashbacks via 2K20 Giannis build, where I really made probably the best version of that build that can do a little bit of everything. It feels like this build kind of is like that. I dominate in the paint. 
I can pop a little bit. I can shoot the basketball, obviously. This gameplay you guys are going to be seeing right here, no cuts. It's going to be very quick. I'm telling you guys, once I start getting this takeover, it's really over. I'm not going to lie. It's very easy. You can see they already know I can shoot the basketball a little bit, probably watching me on the sidelines, you know. So they have to play high, but then you just run to the rim. I got that gold aerial wizard, gold posterizer. It becomes too easy. You can see we're dribbling up a little bit. Stop at the top of the key. We got that sharp take. <laughs> you already know what color it is. You can't leave me open. Now, this is where it gets dangerous. Now, after I did that, I was really starting to feel myself. I'm not going to lie. And sharp take definitely helps. But if you just run to the rim enough, you get that take over, you can really just start knocking down pretty much any shot. Now, watch this. Crossover. Step back. Bang. Like, come on, man. Who's doing this? I don't care if you got sharp take. Who's doing this with a 73-point shot consistently, man? It's really tough. And majority of the time, I'm not really doing this. So when I can do something like this a little bit, it becomes dangerous. Like, look at this. Oh, my gosh. This build is absolutely insane. As we head into gameplay number three, I need you to let me know. What builds do you guys want to see me make on 2K24? We're 92 overall now. We just got our rebirth. It's time to start messing around with this builder a little bit. I really haven't dug too deep into it. I made the Giannis build early, and I kind of just been playing the game. But you can see the Giannis build is still doing Giannis build things. We're catching lobs. That's never been a problem. What's been fun, though, is testing out this bulldozer badge. We only got it on gold right now, but we're throwing people out of the way. This guy, I don't know if you saw, was roughly about my same height. He had good inside defense, so the fact that we're able to push him out of the way that easily it's pretty nasty you can see look at this relocate no hesitation shooting the three-point shot knocking it down like what are you supposed to do i'm throwing you out of the way i'm shooting three-pointers i can dribble a little bit like i said once you start knowing how to actually play on this Giannis build i know i saw the comments people are saying this build stinks once you start learning how to play you'll be able to do some pretty crazy things. You can see I made the three-point shot. He stepped up. We got the easy lob right here. Now, I try to get a little bit too confident. I'm going in. I should theoretically, you know, get a pretty big meter right there because uh, it was a wide-open lane. But we give him the ball. Usually, I let these guys shoot because the majority of guys early on in 2Ks, they can't shoot. But these guys were knocking down shots. They didn't seem like the worst players once we were looking at their player cards. Rally off nine straight points. And I started second thinking, I'm like, hey, we really... We might have to start locking in here a little bit. A hit weaves. He ends up missing it. No big deal. It's kind of a little bit of back and forth game for a little while. You can see me. No hesitation. He's still daring me to shoot. Which, again, like I said, we knocked down the first shot. That's when I get confident. If I would have missed that first one, I probably am not fooling that. I'm not going to lie to you. You can see the little backdoor cut. He sleeps for a second. Another lob. It just comes way too easy. But again, like I said... The patch, in my opinion, I saw people kind of talk about the dribbling and all that kind of stuff like that. So I know they're kind of fixing things, which kind of makes me, you know, a little bit worried. So I don't know if I make a build, if it's going to mess it up in a couple weeks. That's like the worst feeling, spending over like a hundred bucks making a build and then they kind of patch the way the game works. That's why I've got to just, you know, just throwing things out there. I don't want to change too many things mechanically because you never know what could happen. You can see we've got... Oh my gosh, look at that. A jump over animation, and we end up missing it. And I do it more than once in this game, which is just absolutely insane and quite unfortunate, to be honest with you. You can see I hit weaves. I already know he's going to make it. Look, I'm emoting. I'm emoting. They're too little. I already know they're going to make the shot. You can see right here, we get the rebound, run it back out. I'm going to go and try to, you know, cook up a little bit. You see if I can get a nice clip for the game. He's sitting in the paint, and that dunk meter really isn't even that bad. And I missed another jump over animation but this has probably been my most favorite thing recently you see i'm forcing that guy to actually step out of bounds immovable enforcer which i talked about earlier is a very nice badge for defense you can see again now he's starting to respect my shot a little bit i wanted to shoot that but i'm just going to relocate and you know what we're knocking down the three no sharp take over that time hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and until next time it's been your boy dignified i'm out peace